Hello and welcome to Never Enough Cruising. In this vlog we're going to take a walk along the towpath of the Wilts and Barks Canal. It's very much old meets new. The Wilts and Barks Canal was completed in 1810. It linked the Kennet and Avon Canal at Sevington near Malksham to the River Thames at Abingdon. Coal was one of the main goods transported along this canal. In 1837, 43,642 tonnes of coal was transported via the Wilts and Bucks Canal from the Somerset's coal fields, with 10,669 tonnes being handled at Abingdon. The Wilts and Bucks Canal became a vital link in providing transport between the West Country and the Midlands. Construction on the Wilts and Bucks Canal began in 1796. Robert Whitworth was the principal engineer. The 52 mile canal was opened in 1810 but was abandoned in 1914. It was hastened by the collapse of the Stanley Aqueduct in 1901. Much of the canal subsequently became unnavigable. Many of the structures were deliberately damaged by army demolition exercises. Parts of the route were filled in and in some cases built over. In 1977, work started in protecting and restoring part of the canal. In 1997, the Wilts and Barks Canal Trust was formed. Work started here at Canal Side at Wichelstow in 2017. With the canal being restored, 4,000 new homes are also being built at this site. Schools, a doctor's surgery, shops, including a waitrose with mooring outside, and the Hall and Woodhouse pub. The Wichelstow Bridge at Canal Side is 35 metres in length and weighs over 28 tonnes. The bridge was designed by artist Sebastian Boyson. Its design includes ornate laser cut steel panels with coloured resin which will reflect the sunlight during the day and will be illuminated at night by features set in within the handrail. Outside the Hall and Woodhouse pub is Narrowboat Wichelstow, which is a main feature of the pub. A real narrowboat. She's set partly inside the building and outside the building. She offers guests the unique experience of being able to have your meals inside her. If you look closely at her bows, you will see the date in which the pub was opened. With pubs, bars and restaurants being able to open from the 4th of July, I'm sure she will soon be fully booked. Another unique thing about this Hall and Woodhouse pub are the two enormous lock gates you drive through to get to the pub. The next stage of this canal is linking it to a Royal Wooden Bassett, which means the canal needs to go under the M4 close to Junction 16. It is hoped that by 2025 the two new cruising rings will finally open. This is the winding hole. The maximum length of boat on the Wilts and Barts Canal is 72 foot. We leave the new towpath at Canal Side and continue our journey towards Swindon on the original path.
Bevins Bridge was named after the farmer whose land it ran through in 1871. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave your comments, and please subscribe to our channel. It really does help. You can join us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and also on Patreon. See you next time.